Hello again everyone, Bandit Sues. It's uh, 5.44 p.m. Pacific Time on November 7th, 2011. And I'm showing you a video that's loaded onto my computer that I took uh, this past Friday, uh, November the 4th, <clears throat> on Stellarium. And basically what I did was I was tracking this object here. As we know, it's going to come in between us and the moon here on the... 9th, 11-9-11, Ellen in 11-9. Oh, sorry. Anyway, so this object's supposed to be coming through in a couple days here. And so I wanted to see how close it was going to get to the moon because I learned uh, about a trajectory change for this object. And I wanted to see how it was going to affect its passing. So I went and went to Stellarium. And I'm just going to jump up a little bit in the video here. And there's 11.4. Uh, now keep in mind, this video was shot on Friday the 4th. Okay, so that's real time. And what I do is I start to move ahead in time with the fast forward button so I can see how the object will relate with the moon as it comes through on the 9th. So the object is the red X right there and I'm just going to pause this as it comes through to the moon. Now there's the moon. It's got its own little uh, label on it. And I want you to notice what happens to the moon. I'm going to try to pause this. Okay, so here's the moon, right? And there's Mars and the object. So watch what happens to the moon as it gets uh, closer to the 9th of, of uh, November. And notice the label of the moon disappearing there. What's up with that? Now we're approaching the 8th. and then the ninth. Now I'm going to pause this for a second now. Let's just see where we are here. There's the ninth. And the it's a little blurry but it looks like 4:37 a.m. and as you can see the red X is literally right on top of the moon. And we'll just let it continue on here and it'll go past the 10th and the 11th. as you see. Okay, so I've just paused that video and now what we're going to do is we're going to go to Stellarium in real time and we're going to try the same thing and see what happens. So here it is, uh, the current Stellarium shot from where we are in North America. And we should see the moon right out there. Yeah, baby. Okay. So what we want to do is go to our little search window. And then we're going to tap in uh, 205. Why are you... And guess what? There it is, coming out of the sun, which is set. So what we can do is we can get rid of that. And, that. and then we can go ahead and time. So that's current time right there. And remember the, where the moon was, where I just showed you. So let's just fast forward it a little bit. So here we go into the 8th. Okay. Now I don't see any moon anywhere. 
Here we are on the 8th. And there's no moon. So we'll take it slowly forward. And here we go into the ninth. And there's no moon to be seen. Okay, now keep in mind, at this moment in time, in a couple of days, they'll be getting ready to do the national EAS test where they basically take over all communications so they can warn us in case of an event. Right now there's no moon. What happened to the moon? Remember it was at 437 or whatever that we were right on top of the moon? So there's 430, okay, and there's no moon there. So what do we do? We go look for the moon, get over here to our search, and we put in the moon. Bam, and look at where it puts the moon now. What is up with that? Now can someone explain this to me? Again, I want to thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you again soon.